Short time ago, Catholic bishops voting overwhelmingly to establish guidelines on the meaning of Holy Communion, possibly opening the door to denying the Eucharist to President Biden, the second Catholic president in history, as well as other openly pro-choice politicians. Here is the president's response just minutes ago. Are you concerned about the rift in the Catholic Church, and how do you feel personally about that? That's a private matter, and I don't think that's going to happen. Thank you. Mr. Well, let's bring in uh, news and religion analyst Jonathan Morris, who served as a former Catholic priest. Always good to see you. Great to have you, Jonathan. Thank you. Well, this is not a private because Obviously, Shannon, sorry, just sorry to cut you off. This is obviously not a private issue because we're talking about it right now. And President Biden knows that. Yeah, in my understanding, and I'm not Catholic, but I have great respect um, for the differences in our denominations, but my understanding is that um, the canon law already requires priests to be very protective of the sacraments of the Eucharist. Um, this is a decision they have to make, and I gotta imagine it's really difficult if you have a parishioner who is part of your flock, who comes to participate in any of the sacraments, but you know publicly they're in direct conflict with church doctrine. How do you handle yeah. that? Exactly. And, and uh, to set the stage, first of all, we have a president right now who on Sunday, and I laud him for this, I congratulate him for this, he goes very publicly to church wherever he mm -hmm. is, much better than many of us, right? Uh, and he comes out and he says, I believe. And when he receives communion, he's saying, amen. He says, I believe with the Catholic Church. But then on Monday morning, when he goes to the halls of co Congress or when he writes executive orders from his own desk, he says, I don't believe what the church teaches about a very fundamental, I would say the most fundamental teaching of the church, and that is respect for life at all stages. So it's very complicated. And I think you made a great point, Shannon. Doesn't the church already kind of say what is supposed to happen? Why do the bishops of the United States or any country have to say, well, how do we deal with this? In fact, I would say it is the role of the Pope, Pope Francis. You have one job, I would say, one main job, and that is to explain the church's teaching on fundamental issues and how that relates to practical uh, to practical situations. And uh, so the bishops are left in this very strange situation. Do we deny him communion? I don't think any of us want people priests up there deciding who is a saint and who's a sinner. It's not about that. But President, Obama, President Biden, excuse me, has said very clearly, I believe with the church on Sunday and on Monday, I do not believe what the church teaches about the respect for all life at all stages. I think we have a statement in from about 60 Democratic members of Congress uh, expressing their concern over this and saying, you know, we don't want to see uh, that this becomes a public um, situation where people are being uh, told that they cannot come and take part in their faith. And as you said, it is, I think, very encouraging for a lot of people to see that the president is in a church. He's attending mass on a very regular basis. Uh, I pray for him. I pray for every president that we have, that God would guide them and protect them and give them wisdom. Um, but there are those who are worried that some will be pushed away from the church if they see this treatment of the president and say, aren't we to be welcoming people in and bringing them in? Um, what if they see this publicly as something that would make them not welcome? Your quick thought on that. I get it 100%. One of the bishops said we should write a letter instead that just says, welcome home, everyone. The question is, welcome home to what? What is it that you're being welcomed into? What do we believe? When you say amen, what are you saying amen to? That is the issue, and it's fundamental. Jonathan Morris, always good to see you, and uh, thankful that we are all saved by grace. We are all sinners. Thank you, sir. <laughs>